As West Michigan picks up the pieces from last week's storm, storm teammate meteorologists are looking ahead to the rest of the storm season. As Sarah Flynn explains, the number of tornadoes we've seen so far this year now equals what we saw in all of 2024. So Sarah, we're only a few weeks into storm season. What does this mean for the rest of it? Definitely a busy start to our year. And Thursday really just reiterated that. After the March 30th outbreak plus this one, our tornado count is one of the highest that we've actually seen in recent years. A glimpse that Thursday night, if you weren't able to catch this, the National Weather Service continued to survey those storms over the weekend as well as into late Friday night. And this is what they've come up with. Nine tornadoes across the state of Michigan, all of which, by the way, EF0 or EF1 as expected, and all of which touching down after sunset, making it just a bit of a tricky situation. Now, this is on the heels of a lot of straight line wind damage as well. So just because a tornado may have not crossed paths with your town, again, certainly can see that damage as well. Now I want to take a look back. The last 10 years, the total number of tornadoes that we've seen statewide in Michigan, we're at 25 so far, which is more than last year. We've already surpassed that. 17 we had in 2024, 14 in 2023. You really have to head uh, pretty far back in order to get some of those single digits. 2022 is a very quiet spring along with 2020. This is the most that we've seen since 2010. Not quite record breaking though, by the way. Our record number of tornadoes actually was in 19. 74. We had 39 across the state of Michigan that year. And if you're wondering what's normal for Michigan, of course, that does fluctuate on a year to year basis, as I just showed you. But since 2000, we've averaged about 13 tornadoes statewide. And again, we're very close to doubling that already this year. Now, what I can say is we have a calmer pattern ahead of us and a cooler one. As those temperatures continue to fall, it's going to limit our potential, at least for the time being, likely through the end of May. But I do want to highlight those 13 tornadoes typically do happen in the summer months. So we could certainly see that number get higher and higher. We average about three tornadoes in May, June, and August, two in July, and then one in September as well as into October. Now today is quiet, a bit of a silver lining there. We'll continue that cloudy pattern with cooler temperatures, again, limiting those storm chances. Today, that prediction does have a moderate risk in portions of Oklahoma, Arkansas, as well as Missouri. So something to keep an eye out for on the national level, but we should steer clear of that here in West. Michigan. We'll talk those cooler temperatures as well as those rain chances in the eight day forecast. That is all coming up.